Politically wise, can I ask you where you stand? The left of the center, independent. I'm a Democrat, liberal. I would call myself a liberal realist. Fairly neutral, I'm independent. Very left of liberal. The government spent so much money over the last decade that I'm worried we'll ever be able to pay it all back. Yes. I'm a little concerned. Yes. Agreed. I agree. Agreed. It depends on how you define worry, but yeah, I agree with that. At 70,000 pages, the tax code is way too complex. I would agree with that. Yeah, I agree with that. Agree. Oh, yeah, definitely. Very. Yeah, yeah. it's like War and Peace times 70. <laughs> yeah. Politicians look out for themselves first and us last. Yes. Mm. That's a tough one. It would depend on the context. Agree. In general, I don't like politicians. I agree. The government shouldn't be allowed to seize your house in order to build a shopping mall. I agree. I would agree with that. Absolutely not. I totally disagree with the concept of eminent domain. We need leaders who rely less on partisan politics and more on common sense. Of course. Totally. Absolutely agree. A lot more common sense. Some kids seem more intelligent than some of them. You agree wholeheartedly with Fox News host Glenn Beck. Does that freak you out? Yes! Oh, God! Uh, maybe a little, actually. <laughs> yeah, I am kind of surprised. Because I go insane when my husband watches Fox News. Yes. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. That's not good. I really don't think I like him very much. Wow, look at that. I love it. Ooh. That's yikes. I'm surprised I agree with somebody from Fox News. He could be an Essex lad. Worst thing you can say about anybody. Glenn Beck, Essex lad. No idea who this is. Excellent. Glenn Beck is certainly an intelligent guy. Yikes, that's bad. And there you have it, Glenn. Common sense, apparently nonpartisan. Brian Sack reporting from Bryant Park in Manhattan. Back to you, Essex man.